Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Monk. I hope you all have been well. Uh, in today's session, in today's video, we are going to solve some rapid interview questions. So uh, these are some of the questions which are very frequently asked in interviews. So uh, uh, for this, I hope you have all your basics clear. If not, uh, please refer to our previous videos. So uh, once you watch that, all your basics will be very much clear and then you can dive right into this rapid interview questions in SQL. You're going to really enjoy this. So now let's get directly started. So uh, I already have a, a data set for us. So I have a table called salaries and I have added uh, some test values into our table. Let us first see how our table exactly looks. So I'll run this for you. I've selected all the columns from our salaries table. And this is how our table looks. We have 12 employees with the employer name, gender, department and the salaries. All right. So here we are in this video here. We are going to solve four questions. Okay. So uh, without wasting any time, let's start with the first question. Okay. So our question number one is query to create a new table which consists of same data structure. Very simple. You just need to create a new table with the same uh, attributes as the previous one. All right. So what you need to do is you'll use the function create because you are creating a new table, right? So you'll write create table. Uh, then you can write the name of the table. Uh, I'm writing my new table name as new only. Okay, so I'm creating a table new and within the table what I want, how I want my table as it should be having the same data structure. So I'm selecting all the rows from salaries. All right. I hope this was very much clear creating table. So we are creating a table new which has same values that we can select from the salaries table. Right. So let us run this. And here we got our new table. All right. So actually uh, this is actually the previous one because we have already we already ran this command wherein we are so showing the previous table. So uh, we have created a new table, but but we we haven't displayed it yet. So what I'll do is I'll write select select star from what was a new table name new. So now this should give me the exact same table. Let us run this. See, we got the same table with the same data structure. So that is how you can create a new table with the same data structure while using the function create, right? So this was pretty simple to start with. Going forward, we have our question number two. All right. What we have is we need to find top n records. Okay. We need to find top n records from this table. So it could be top Two, top 3, top 4, top 5. We are going to write a general uh, query for that. So how we are going to do is, this is also pretty simple. You are going to select, okay, we are going to choose our criteria as salary here, okay. We are going to uh, base our query on the salaries column. So what I am going to do is, I will write select star from salaries that is my table name then I want to order by salary our salary column because I want to find top n records the, for which the criteria is salary and then uh, because uh, whenever you use order by it, it sorts your data in ascending order for here I want top n records so I want highest to bottom so obviously we are going to sort it in descending order that is why I am using the keyword D, uh, D E S C and then then we are just going to set the limit n alright so what is your n here n is basically 
as the as in the question it is asked find top n records so n could be anything for now say i want to fetch top four records so i'll set my limit to four it is going to fetch me top four records so i'll just run this for you Yeah, if you see we got the top four records according to the salaries which is 45,000, 40,000, 35,000 and 32,000 right. So I have chosen my basis as salary if you if you don't want to order it by salary just want to find the you know top four records then you just don't need to keep the criteria salary you can keep it as EMP ID alright. Moving ahead. Uh, also, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, this 4 is not constant here. This is an n value. You can set it to 3, you can set it to 6, you can set it to 7. So if I set it to 7, I'll get top 7 salaries. See, this is what I got. Right? Now, uh, if you want to fetch, as I mentioned, just the n records, you can... Uh, you can order it by EMP ID also okay so here I have chosen salary as my criteria you can choose ID also and then you can fetch the top records so if you see you got the top records all right moving ahead our question number three which is query to find two minimum salaries so we need to find the two minimum salaries in this data okay this could be a little complicated for you to understand so just uh, just see what i'm doing here we need to find two minimum salaries from the given data set so what i'm going to do i'll select salary uh, because salary can repeat in any database so I'm going to use the keyword distinct which is going to fetch me unique values to be on a safer site so I'm selecting distinct salaries from my table salaries and we are going to uh, name this uh, we are going to name this table uh, say s1 so it is important that you name your table side by side because this particular query is going to fetch me a value and where i'm going to store that value in s1 you could write any temporary name for that matter you can write e1 you can write s you can write anything i'm using s1 as my temporary name here all right now here comes a condition where we want two minimum salaries right so we are going to write two greater than equal to all right and then we'll start our sub query here which is pretty important so uh, concentrate here you are going to write select now we are going to use the count function because we need to find two minimum salaries so we need to use the count function which is going to fetch me distinct salary okay from salaries table right from salaries table now whatever we get from this particular function from select count distinct salary whatever value we get from here say we'll store that in s2 okay like we did for s1 from the for the previous query now our condition here is where s1 the salary that we'll get from the s1 query should be greater than or equal to because two minimum salaries can be same also should be equal to the query that we get the salary that we get from the s2 query okay so this is basically like uh, give me a salary and it should be uh, less than or equal to the previous one all right that is how we'll get the two minimum salaries right all right so from e2 sal uh, s2 dot salary and then simply we are going to order by this entire outer query by s1 dot salary because using the first equation we are using the first uh, 
uh, query here so I'm writing s1 to avoid any confusion so you know that the salary I'm fetching from this particular query right s1 dot salary now we are going to arrange it in descending order obviously because we are going to find you can arrange it ascending also won't matter if you are arranging in descending order I'll show you what the difference will be there so uh, let me just break down this for you once so what we are doing is we are selecting distinct salary from our salaries table and we have named uh, uh, we have given it a temporary name s1 the value that will get the salary value that will get from here will be stored in s1 where because we have to find two minimum salaries so i'm writing two uh, and then this query which should be less than or equal to two okay so i'm giving you a count of salaries which is uh, where the condition is one salary is greater than or equal to the second salary all right and then we are going to uh, order this entire uh, query with the s1 salary that we are getting from the first query and then we are also ordering it in descending order if you remove desc then also the, your answers will be same just the order will be different all right i'll just run this for you and show you the exact thing what i'm trying to say so if you see we got our two minimum salaries which is 12,000 and 10,000 if I wouldn't have written DESC here it would have been just 10,000 and 12,000 still we are getting two minimum queries only but we are writing DESC so that we get it in a sequential manner so first minimum salary uh, sorry this would be like second minimum salary and then we have the first minimum salary all right so this was a question number three this could be a little confusing so you need to you know practice such kind of questions so say uh, instead of fetching two minimum salaries I want to fetch three minimum salaries or four minimum salaries so you can you know keep on changing the condition right here and here if you notice uh, the main function that we have used is distinct count and order by right so you need to just make sure that you're mentioning the correct uh, conditions and then it is pretty simple to understand right also always remember that keep giving your query if you are if you are using sub queries in a question then don't forget to mention this temporary names to the values that you'll fetch from that particular query to avoid confusion and always mention the queries which you are referring to so uh, if you are, if I'm referring to salary from my first query I'll write s1 dot salary right Okay, so this was a pretty, uh, you can say, a bit confusing question. But I hope now, is it, it, now is, it is clear to you. Moving ahead to our last question, which is to retrieve last four records. So from this table, I need to fetch my last four records. All right. So how we can do that? Let us see. Last four records. Okay. So we'll start with select star. I want to select all the rows. Select star from. Now we'll start a sub subquery where from where I want to select my rows from. Select. I'll use the function row number here. If you don't know about this function, as I as I told you in the starting of the video, please make your basics clear. We have a video on row number function, so just go through that video once, and after that you will be able to understand this question very clearly. So we have select row number, okay. Uh, following the syntax of our row number uh, function, this is how you write your row number function, right over order by because we are we, we are choosing the criteria again as salary here because it's particularly unique so salary okay then whatever value i'm getting from this inner query uh, let its value be stored in r all right okay so i'm selecting i'm uh, giving i have given row numbers to my table uh, to keep it sorted and then the values will be so stored in the attribute r 
then I want to select all my rows so I'm writing salaries dot star for selecting all my rows from well, you do it here from my table salaries all right salaries okay so this is my inner query basically so I'm selecting row numbers this uh, this is uh, only used because uh, I have you know given row number to my table and it will be stored in R selecting all the columns from my salary table now the function that will the query the result that will get from this outer query I want to store that in say s1 now comes our condition where where uh, listen this very carefully where this R that the this R which is going to so, uh, store all my row numbers so this R this row number should be greater than now it should be greater than what uh, if if I have say 12 records so my row number should be greater than 8 that that is only how I can get these four values right so it should be greater than 8 to fetch me the last four records but how will I know that uh, I should you know this uh, R should be greater than or equal to 8 that I can't know right I don't know how many uh, rows are there in the uh, table right so I'm going to use my count function here so I'll just write select count now to even include the null values I'm using count star because I want last four values so from the entire count that is 12 I, I'll subtract 4 okay and then we have from our usual from salaries were you able to get this I'll just break this down for you once let me first run this for you and let us see if we are getting the correct correct result for that matter yeah so we got we were able to fetch least, uh, the bottom four, last four records of our table, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is what we wanted, right? And also, if you notice, we have got, we have assigned the row number that is uh, in the R attribute. And according to keeping the salary as our basis, we have got the least uh, salaries from the bottom right so if you notice here we can instead of this row number function if you notice we could have easily used the emp id column because our uh, ids are in sequence but to you know to use it in general what if this ids are not in sequence so for that i have used a general query so what i'm doing is i'm selecting star i'm selecting all the rows from from where from where we are going to run this inner query which is just going to assign row numbers in the attribute r now what i want is this uh, the values that i'll get from this star uh, this uh, outer query which will be stored in s1 then this r that is the row number it should be less than the count the count of the table minus 4 from the salary so our count is 12 minus 4 is 8 so after 8 r should be greater than 8 this this particular thing this particular query is fetching me 8 right select count star that is 12 minus 4 that is 8 so r should be greater than 8 r should be greater than 8 then it is going to fetch me 9 10 11 and 12 that is what we want right so uh, these were our four questions the first two were quite easy to start with but the next two might have you know ran few juices in your brain so for that to get used to such questions just keep on practicing use your own criteria use your uh, own questions just you know instead of say bottom four I want to five uh, bottom five or bottom seven or bottom eight whatever you know just keep on uh, experimenting and you'll be able to understand this very clearly i hope i was able to clear this for you guys for now so have a good day keep preparing and all the very best